What's the crack, lads? V2.4 is finally out, and dare I say it, it actually looks pretty, pretty decent. Obviously, there's a couple of disappointments. We'll get into that in a minute, but I am going to have a load of content. I'm planning on doing a live stream as well today. You can see there that we are on version 2.4.0. So as of right now, there is maintenance, but I was able to record this before the maintenance was due. So yeah, there was an emergency maintenance. So we were greeted with a video that just kind of talked about the winter uh, January transfer market. And obviously there's new players updated. So you've got Cancelo, you've got Jorginho, you've got Modric, you've got a load of new players at their new squads. You've also got player upgrades, downgrades, player value increased and decreased. You've got players like Vratskilia, who's going to be a five-star player, so his rating is going to jump up. You're going to have Musiala, his player rating is going to jump up. You're also going to have Gavi. You're going to have other players like that. We have players that are obviously going to get downgraded as well. There are going to be position swaps. There's going to be um, you know, individual stats upgraded, skills upgraded. There's a lot of stuff uh, boosted. So there's a couple of examples here with Marcus Rashford, Dembele, uh, Nico Williams. There's a lot of players that are upgraded there. And then we just get into the tick of it. So this video is going to cover just strictly content. We will have another video up where we talk about all the gameplay stuff. It literally would be a 30 minute video. I'm going to break it down into three videos. We're going to have content. Then we're going to have the packs and we're going to have all the reviews of those. And then we're going to have obviously what we're doing now is the content, right? So we'll get into all of this at a kind of like as we go through the video, right? We get our login bonuses. Obviously, the Carnival login bonus is going to be there. We get a free Man United, a free Bra Brazil, and a free um, Guadalajara. Guadalajara? I think that's how you pronounce it, lads. And there is the maintenance that they did mention. So uh, by the time you're probably watching this, the maintenance will just be still on. So we're going to go straight in, right? We're going to start from left to right, and we're going to go through all the banners, and we're going to cover every single thing. If you guys are working today or you're not at your PS5s to check yourselves... They did add brand new teams, right? Well, I won't say brand new teams. They are league teams. So you can play with the full Premier League teams in online and offline matches. You can play online against your friend in a friend lobby using all these matches. And you can also um, you can also play offline as well. They did remove the, the national teams, but they added the clubs. So they're the clubs there that I'm going through. I'm going to get into this in a later video because I'm not going to... This is strictly just for content, for people that are actually playing the game and enjoying it and want to see what's new in the game. I'm going to give you my honest thoughts on where we're at with the game at the moment, my disappointments and some of the stuff I want to get through. But it won't be in this video. It'll be in the next video that I do discussing everything as a whole. Um, but yeah, we do have new features there, obviously, of being able to play your friend with normal teams. So if you want to play Man City versus Man United, you don't have to use the Dream Team friend lobby anymore. You can just use them teams. So speaking of events, we do have obviously new events here. Um, the eFootball League, that is still the same. So the next cutoff for that is the 9th of March. So you still have time to, to play that. But the events is kind of where it's going to be at now, I think, for the next maybe, I would say next month that they're going to do a lot of these, these events, right? So we've obviously got our usual rinsed and repeated ones where we get our coins for, you know, playing against the, the users and the user matches. Then we have this one, which is a tour event against the national teams. There's going to be bonuses for that as well. And there's a couple of more ones there. But it's it's pretty much the same, lads. I'm not going to go into massive detail with it. Obviously, with the, with the campaign here, you get your free Bar Brazilian legend. You also get a login bonus for the next two weeks. It ends in 14 days or 13 days. You get 60,000 trainer points. You're going to be getting free chance, chance deals. Um, you're going to get one of the nine players. We'll get into that in a second. You're going to get a special login bonus as well of 60,000 trainer points, 160,000 GP, and 100 football coins. There's the days that you train them in. There's also the special tour event, the campaign objectives. So look, if you are playing a lot of the game and you're completing, completing all, the, all the tours, you're going to have a lot of stuff, man. You're going to have a lot of stuff. I will, as I said, I'm going to get into a bit of a rant and a bit of a discussion about this in a later video. This is strictly for content just to cover everything that's new or repeated or, you know, added, right? We also have the eFootball Point Shop updated with three players. If you guys were looking at the eFootball DB Twitter the other day, these players were added to the database and now they have their correct player levels um, in the shop here as well. So you can sign those for 5,000 eFootball points. You've got Hazard, Quadrado, 
uh, who looks pretty decent, I will say, 81 acceleration. We'll do a review on them. And Shalabah as well, who they've all got 90 team play style proficiency. So pretty decent um, selection there, in fairness, as well as the usual guys, if you haven't already got those. Items stay the same, although I know that there is going to be changes coming to the contracts, because they, I think that the, the game is, is still needs a lot of stuff to be added, right? We also have, as well as that, we have the... Um, on the other banner, we have all the new players and we have all the epic players and stuff like that. So we've got Manchester United epic players. They've added this kind of user thing where you can sign 10 players at once. So instead of going in and clicking individually, I mean, look, I'll get into that again. I'll get into that again in another video, right? As I said, this is just strictly content. They've also added an epic Japanese team pack. They've added the worldwide um, February 16th players of the week. Um, and we just go into them and have a quick look. Pedri there, that Pedri card looks absolutely insane. He's a whole player. We've got Ritz as well. That's actually a pretty decent selection there, in fairness. Um, but yeah, look, I, they also added these managers, um, Guardiola, Cruyff, and Cannavaro. These are kind of manager packs, is what they're calling them. So they've added uh, Guardiola from 0809, which I think is nice. You get 40,000 with that. Um, and they are available to buy as well. So look, I mean, I would have liked somebody that played out wide. There has been a couple of buffs um, and boosts to possession and out wide play style. And I think it makes sense with the fact that they've added these managers. I think that's the way to go now. I think quick counter is still going to be the meta. Um, but I definitely think possession and out wide will be very viable now. It's just a pity because I'm kind of cornered that the fact that I don't have a really top class, you know, 85 plus rated manager out wide. I'd like to be able to improve the manager's team strength and his play style proficiency without having to boost all my players to 95 plus, you know. Um, but look, at least they are adding new stuff. I don't see why they can't add even just generic managers like and just add more content. It, it just doesn't make sense to me. But um, as I said, this is part of the pack here. Dennis Law, Kagawa and uh, Kagawa and Forlan are the three legends and they're in with Manchester United, Manchester City and the rest of the Premier League. They're in with the Premier League pack. Um, we also have the Japan Japan boys as well, the three Japanese lads there. We've got Ito, <coughs> Nakamura, excuse me, and we have Inamoto. So these guys are mixed in with a lot of different kind of random players. Like there's no real, um, there's a very big mixture of players here. Some on A form, some on B form. Um, but I suppose the, the three boys that you're going to be looking at, if you didn't get the Japanese pack lads, I do definitely recommend Ito. He is an absolute monster. Um, but the rest of the players, yeah, I mean, they're probably pretty average. We will take a, a closer look at those. Ito goes up to 29 levels. Nakamura, of course, obviously probably the pick of him as an absolute legend with his free kicks. Um, but yeah, not bad at all. Uh, we also have this new pack as well from the Liga BB uh, VA MX, the Mexican League. Um, and again, you've got a couple of mixed bag players there as well. I mean, look, it depends, man. If you are starting off, there's a lot of newcomers downloading the game. From what I've been hearing, there's a massive conveyor belt of new players downloading the game. So you have to understand that a lot of recycled content is, you know, with them in mind. We also have new nominating contracts as well. Uh, if you do, don't have a free one, you can get obviously a free one after playing 50 matches in the match pass and you can sign one of the five star players. Listen, all eyes will probably be on their new signings. They're new to winter signings. So all eyes will probably be on, I would say, Mudrik. Um, he's going to be a monster. I think he's definitely going to be the one that I get because, you know, he suits my play style, man. He's got really good um, dribbling. He's got really good style. He's got super sub as well. Bit disappointed he doesn't have a face, obviously, because, you know, he's not with a licensed team in the game. But that should be upgraded, you would imagine, uh, you know, maybe in the next couple of months, hopefully. And Summer is, is probably one of the best players as well that I would be looking at getting. Uh, but we will do a full review of them, of course, as usual. And then we also have the club icons here. So these are players like they released the Declan Rice one. Obviously, Verratti is probably the pick of them here, I would say. Uh, I would also say Rhys James if you don't have him. But again, we'll get into a full review of them as well, lads. Oyarzabal is actually a, a quite a decent player as well. I did a really good review of him as an AMF. He plays like an absolute monster as an AMF, very similar to Dennis Burkamp in how he kind of sets up. Uh, I'm not too sure with that card, but we will see and have a closer look at that as well. Um, other than that, lads, the standard players, right? So this is something that obviously they talked about. 
you can see there, like, for instance, the likes of Salah, right? Salah had, was 1.1 million. He's gone down to 490,000. So he's literally halved in price. And there's a load of different price ranges as well. There's going to be a lot of stuff to update, obviously, on eFootballDB. So I hope the boys are working on it. But there's a load of new things there added. Like, obviously, with the team strength of the players, some players have stayed the same. Some players have got downgrades. Some players have got upgrades. Um, so that's going to be reflected in the player's cost, the player's valuation. Um, and the overall rating as well. So it is interesting. As you say, you can see Messi there is an 86, Salah is an 86. So there is a lot of changes to the actual... I think, man, the biggest problem, I'll get into this in another video. The biggest problem is just that everyone has such a good team now, you know? So when eFootball24 launches, they need to have a very clear path of, you know, there needs to be like an early game, a mid game and an end game, right? And the end game shouldn't be coming for the average player. I'm not talking about the players that will spend 500 to 1,000 quid on packs. You can't stop people from doing that if they've got the money to do it and they want to do it. They're entitled to do it. You know, it's their money. They work hard for their money. They can do what they want, right? It's the same way as going out for steak dinner every night or, you know, getting your shopping in Tesco. It, 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 everyone has decided to do what they want to do with their own money. Uh, we've got the new match pass here as well. Daily Blend and Danjuma are the two rewards. But just on that point of that where I'm talking about it, just to finish that point, you have to have an early game, a mid game and an end game for people that want to play the journey and go on the journey of building a squad organically, you know? open a few packs here and there, um, you know, training up players, unearthing different gems and stuff like that a couple of months into after the game's launch. So that is it for me, lads. Short and sweet. That's just the content. We'll be back with the gameplay and I'll talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe. There's a massive week coming of content from me, including the live stream later. So I hope you guys stick around for that. Peace.